So I'm not the type to think too much about things, but after seeing this anime, I've just gotta say that there is something seriously wrong with this anime. Back in the summer of 2022 premiered this series called The Maid I Recently Hired is Mysterious. Without thinking too much about the trailer, summary, or innuendos, I went into the series with an open mind, and that was probably not the best idea because I ended up thinking and seeing too much to justify the seemingly innocent signs of a grown girl liking an undeveloped child. People are probably going to say, if you don't like this, then don't watch it. Or you're thinking too much, it's just an innocent crush. Sure, having a crush is a good thing to have, to like feel the butterflies in your stomach and stay up all night stalking their Instagram or TikTok. But you've got to think about the way this relationship is presented. I wholeheartedly agree that this is a wholesome series if it weren't for these shots. <laughs> In actuality, this is insinuating that there is more to the maid and young master relationship. Sure, the feelings of the two characters are nowhere near romantic right now, but in the future, there might be. Even though this may be a dream come true for the children who has a crush on someone older than them, it is not exactly proper to portray their relationship on screen in such a way. In reality, this gives off the feeling that the maid's attraction to her young master is more than just friendship. Some people may also say that age is not a barrier to love, but that is exactly what it is when minors are involved. Large age gaps between two consenting adults may be frowned upon, but they are at least prepared for the backlash, and they know what it means to have those years in between them. A child does not know this. So it's not right to push them into a relationship they're not prepared for. This series was portrayed in such a way that make it seem as though it is a positive thing that an older girl falls in love with a child. Although there may be a culture difference for such beliefs, it does not change the fact that it's usually the child who suffers from this kind of relationship. If such people decide to act on such intrusive thoughts, they better prepare to bear the consequences. When watching the first episode, I already got the sense that the anime was trying to justify itself as a childhood love story. To begin with, the anime's two main characters are too far apart in age for a true romance, with the Tsunade protagonist, Yuri, being around 10 years old, 11 or 12 maybe, and Lilith being around late teens or even early 20s. In episode 1, we start with a lonely boy who seems fine on their own but actually misses having people around. Aww. Then comes a beautiful girl who is calling the boy young master because she is the maid who is going to be serving him from then on. Right away, the boy is captivated by the maid who calls herself Lilith. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though, she is very pretty. It seems very heartfelt until the angles kept showing her chest area. I really thought it was by imagination, but then episode 2 came around. And I was right to say that this anime is problematic because the existence of the series was just to satisfy the hearts of the many disturbed people that lurk around the internet. From this point on, the series served more as a fan service because all we can see is Lilith being a suspicious maid. I'm not saying that there weren't any heartfelt scenes, but I think those served more as an excuse and to save whatever dignity is left by the author of the series. But I'm still going to give credit to her for creating a cute waifu character. I know that the two of them only has each other. With the both of them being orphans, they only have each other to rely on, which is why it seems like they can become romantic partners down the road. It is still rather problematic when Lilith seems to unknowingly make advances on Yuri. It seems harmless to them because the both of them have never encountered anyone like them and so it seems innocent because all they're doing is indulging one another with their antics. In this same episode, Lilith is seen with a normal maid outfit but upon arriving at the mansion, her clothes become more revealing? I don't know the reason for this outfit change but I'm pretty sure the author did this on purpose because anyone who is on duty should not have such an outfit especially when cooking and cleaning is involved. It's a hazard to have skin exposed like that when doing these chores and it's not very practical. I guess if the purpose is to make the character have more sex appeal, then it worked. Episode 2 is when things get even more suspicious since Lilith seems to care a little bit too much for her young master. She even goes as far as saying things like having a secret ingredient called love. 
which by all means would be heartwarming if Lilith didn't blush at the idea because if it was just parental love, there would be no need for that blush. In episode 4, we do see that Lilith wants to have a closer relationship with Yuri by making him trust her. In her poor attempt to do so, Yuri does actually trust his suspicious maid despite the things he says, as Lilith is the only person who is staying with Yuri despite not being paid and is taking care of the house for him. The next episode comes off almost normal, being the sports festival episode where parents or guardians come to see their kid in action. But why did Lilith have to say this? So it really gave off a vibe that I didn't like and it seems to insinuate the thing. At last, we have reached a sick episode where the person who becomes ill acts weird and shows off a different side to their love interest. <laughs> I mean, young master. This episode really showed Lilith in a more bolder light and I'm pretty sure at this point this is not a one-sided crush. And romance is becoming a part of the series. At this point, no one is being subtle. Seriously, why do we let these things become anime? Through the next few episodes, Yuri and Lilith become more emotionally attached to one another, not wanting to leave another and to see each other as fast as possible, to be able to open up to each other and learn more about one another. It would have been a great love story if everything was legal. And now it's no longer a crush from the young Yuri, it's full on love. Yay. I'm sorry Yuri, but it may be better off to leave this a crush until you are of age. Also, Lilith could have been the more mature one and taken a step back to establish boundaries, but no. Even though it left itself on an ambiguous note where their love is not officially pronounced to be a romantic one, you can pretty much tell that it is heading that way. Really, this part of the anime where Lilith asks her young master what kind of love he's feeling is used to cover up how Lilith feels for Yuri. There's a high chance that Lilith does see Yuri as a love interest but won't act on it due to their difference in status. But I just feel that the difference in status is used as a cover up for the more problematic portrayal of love the series is showing. This type of content can be damaging to young viewers who may not fully understand the implications of such relationships. It can normalize behaviors that are not acceptable in real life and can lead to confusion and harm. This does not only affect young viewers, but also gives an excuse to viewers who are older and are actually looking for excuses to be in such a relationship. For those of you who enjoyed the series, good for you for seeing it as wholesome, but you should really be seeing it for what it truly is representing. While it is true that there are cultural differences in the way relationships are viewed, it is important to acknowledge that there are certain universal standards that must be upheld. Relationships between adults and children are never acceptable no matter the culture or context. As consumers of media, we have a responsibility to be critical of the content that we consume and to hold creators accountable for the messages they are sending. It is not enough to simply dismiss problematic content as just fiction or harmless entertainment. We must demand better and actively work towards creating a safer and more responsible media landscape. There may be some elements of the series that are enjoyable, but the underlying message and the portrayal of the relationship between the maid and the young master is deeply problematic. We must be vigilant in calling out and addressing problematic content and media and work towards creating a more responsible and inclusive media industry. But here are some of my other videos if you're into the more anime related things. I also have some Genshin videos if you would like to check them out. Hope you enjoyed the ramblings of some random girl on the internet and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!